Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, GE Easy, born March 3, 1965 1, is an Ethiopian 1, microbiologist and internationally recognized malaria researcher, 2, who has served since 2017 as Director General of the World Health Organization. 3 4, Tedros is the first non physician and first African in the role. 5, he has held two high level positions in the government of Ethiopia, Minister of Health from 2005 to 2012 6, and Minister of Foreign Affairs from 2012 to 2016. 7 8. Tedros was born in Asmara, which at that time was in Ethiopia, but is now the capital of Eritrea 9 to Adhanom Ghebreyesus and Melishu Welda Gabir. The family originated from the Enderta Araya of the province of Tigray. Tedros has discussed recalling that as a child he was very aware of the suffering and death caused by malaria. 10. His younger brother died at the age of 3 or 4 years old, possibly by a preventable disease like measles, which Tedros often discusses as a defining experience in regards to the need for global health care. 511. In 1986, Tedros received a Bachelor of Science, Bayest say, degree in biology from the University of Asmara. 12. In 1992, Tedros received a Master of Science, MSc, degree in Immunology of Infectious Diseases from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine at the University of London. 7. In 2000, he earned a PhD in Community Health from the University of Nottingham for research investigating the effects of dams on the transmission of malaria in the Tigray region of Ethiopia. 13. In 1986, after college, Tedros joined the Ministry of Health of the Derg as a junior public health expert. 714. After the fall of Mengistu Haile Mariam, Tedros moved to London for graduate school. Citation needed. In 2001, Tedros was appointed head of the Tigray Regional Health Bureau. 7. As head of the bureau, Tedros was credited with making a 22% reduction in AIDS prevalence in the region, and a 69% reduction in meningitis cases. He oversaw a campaign to improve ICT access that installed computers and internet connectivity to most of the region's hospitals and clinics, whereas they had not been connected before. 15. During his time in this position, healthcare staffing was increased by 50%. Immunization for measles was raised to 98% of all children and total immunization clarification needed, for all children under 12 months was raised to 74%. The percentage of government funding for the Tigray Regional Health Bureau was increased to 65%, with foreign donors percentage falling to 35%. Overall, 69% of the population was provided with access to healthcare services within 10 kilometers. 15. In late 2003, Tedros was appointed a state minister, deputy minister, for health, and served for just over a year. 16. In October 2005, Tedros was appointed Minister of Health of Ethiopia by Prime Minister Mili Zenawi. Despite the many challenges faced by the health ministry in terms of poverty, poor infrastructure, and a declining global economic situation, progress in health indicators was considered impressive in Ethiopia. 17-18-19 during the period 2005 to 2008, the Ethiopian Ministry of Health built 4,000 health centers, trained and deployed more than 30,000 health extension workers, and developed a new cadre of hospital management professionals as part of a health extension program, HEP. This effort has been credited with cutting infant mortality from 123 deaths per 1,000 live births in 2006 to 88 in 2011. 18. 619. Furthermore, in 2010, Ethiopia was chosen by the U.S. State Department as one of the U.S. Global Health Initiative Plus countries, where the U.S. will support innovative global health efforts. Citation needed. Tedros inherited a ministry with a strong vision but little capability to meet that vision. 19. The ministry was somewhat beholden to a donor community that was focused on HIV-AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria programs when Tedros first assumed his leadership position with a diagonal, systems-based reform agenda. With little economic surplus, the country lacked capacity to build its own health systems, and much of the Ethiopian human resources for health had fled the country. For example, there are more Ethiopian doctors in the Chicago metropolitan area than in Ethiopia. 1920, Tedros designed the health workforce flooding reform strategy that has resulted in the training and deployment of thousands of doctors, nurses, pharmacists, laboratory technologists and health officers. 21. As Minister of Health, 
Tedros was able to form a close relationship with prominent figures including former American President Bill Clinton and the Clinton Foundation and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. 19. During his time as Minister of Health of Ethiopia, Tedros was very active in global health initiatives. Ethiopia was the first country to sign compact with the International Health Partnership. He was chair of the Rollback Malaria Partnership, 2007-2009, Program Coordinating Board of UN AIDS, 2009-2010, and the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, 2009-2011, and co-chair of the Partnership for Maternal, Newborn and Child Health, 2005-2009. He also served as member of the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, GAVI, board as well as the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation, IHME, and the Stop TB Partnership Coordinating Board. He was also member of several academic and global health think tanks including the Aspen Institute and Harvard School of Public Health. Citation needed, he served as Vice President of the 60th World Health Assembly that was held on 14 May 23, 2007. From 2008 until 2009, he was a member of the High-Level Task Force on Innovative International Financing for Health Systems, co-chaired by Gordon Brown and Robert Zellick. 22. 